Check out this new whip. Yes. It's looking very pretty. I like it. I just took the plastic. Oh, there's still plastic on there. Do we reveal? Do we Oof. do the big reveal? I don't know, man. Keep the plastic in there, man. You have some pretty dirty fingers. Oof. Oof. I just went huge. Jesus Look Christ. at how clean that puppy is. Dang. That won't Dude, last I can, I can see your, uh, your reflection in here. I know. It's incredible. It's insane. I can already see the pieces of sand ruining it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cleanest uh, car has ever been for me. And Jamie called it a grandma car the other day. Oh, God. <laughs> God. I, was, I was pretty insulted. <laughs> I, I got a nice new car. I'm all excited about it. And he says it looks like a grandma mobile. Dude, grandmas in the US, they drive uh, some really nice cars. This is true. This is very Dude. true. I would even say that, that you know that small Mercedes? Uh, SLK, I think it's yeah, called? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, I always see grandmas driving that, man. Yeah, it's grandmas sick. know what's up. Yeah, grandmas, grandmas know what's grandmas up. Grandmas know what's up. They're, they're, you know, they've got some wisdom. So yeah. I'm just trying to follow in their footsteps. Yeah. Um, so today we have a special guest to our YouTube channel. And her name is Tina Cohen. This is Jamie's girlfriend, who's a very good surfer, very stylish longboarder. And she has a YouTube channel called, I think it's just a... Tina Cohen, and uh, today she wanted to skimboard with me, and I am honored because her last skimboarding video she put on her YouTube channel did really well, and it was just a, a little session we had at Waimea where it was a fun time. We were sliding down the slopes, just getting her out into the water, and she wasn't too into it. Like she was very hesitant going into it. But now that her YouTube video did great, she's back at it. So, <laughs> we are very lucky to have her joining us today. And out of all places, we're going to the wedge. That was her idea, believe it or not. She kind of said it at the beginning, jokingly. But then we, we were both like, wait a second. That's a pretty good idea. We, we, should, we should see what, you know, a, a kind of a newish learning skimboarder can do at the wedge it's gonna be pretty awesome there's definitely going to be some carnage it is it is like 80 degrees right now i'm i'm burning up in a wetsuit oh easy there burning up it's, easy there not 80 degrees it's it's getting warm it's maybe 70. <laughs> oh, i just put my keys in my backpack did i put them in the car andre <laughs> oh my god did we just lock the keys in time I'm a little concerned that we just lost the keys in the car. <laughs> All right, while we're waiting for Tina, we're gonna try to get a few. I think she got a flat tire this morning or maybe lost a lot of air in her tire so she's running a little behind. But that's okay, because the waves are good and it's gonna give me some more, more time to catch some. Here we go, into the crow's nest. Track that one over there? Dude, I kind of <laughs> missed halfway, but you went far. You missed it? Oh, 
That's all right. Yeah, that thing. I mean, I didn't miss it, but like, it gets to a point where the it's too the, far. the wide form is that it's like blocking. Oh, okay. The view and you can't see you anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my longest longest cider down here for sure. It was like a never-ending cider. <laughs> didn't even connect anything. Just took me down the cylinders. That was sick. It's actually yeah. really, really freaking good right you now. Got, you got some miles on that one. If I went for the first wave of that set, might have been my best. Yeah. That first wave just yeah. spit like perfect too. All Dude, right, we're back. It's out. hard to run over there, huh? Dude, you there's no like, space. You have like two steps. No space. Here comes the set. time I've ever seen an RC surfer at Wedge. This is pretty good content right here. <laughs> um, I, I don't know who was driving this thing, but they, they have to have some serious guts. That's an expensive little toy. And he's getting pretty close to people, which is also sketchy. Those, those propellers on those things are sharp. And uh, I'd be pretty afraid to be in the water right now. <laughs> to be a very distracted instructor. I'm having a lot of fun down here. And teaching right now is going to be hard. It's going to be hard to leave this. Hi, how are you? I'm Aaron. Nice to meet you, Aaron. You? Glad to... I'm actually having a lot of fun right now. <laughs> the waves are kind of good for me. <laughs> Dude. Blair's blowing it. Blair's blowing it hard. He's, it. he's over there teaching Beautiful. some skateboarding. Beautiful day at the wedge. And Blair's just over there giving lessons and I'm about to take all his waves, so. Yeah, you, you just got yourself a new filmer. Yeah. <laughs> Go get some. I will.
my god. What the heck? Oh, we're gonna get so many views with this. <laughs> just, just turn around. So many views, Gary. Show me. <laughs> Dude, what did you do, man? So Blair went on a wave like and did like an air, and then I was like, oh, I got your back, bro. And then I just was too late, and then the wave took my board under me, and then I landed on oh. my board, both legs, and just sat on it. Oh, hurt pretty bad. That's bad. sandwiched. Damn, I need like a front cam for this. <laughs> that's, oh, Dude, that's almost like a Brazilian parking spot. Really small. Bingo! Hey. See you, buddy. Hi. Wow. Five point turn to get out of that one. That was a nice one, man. Thank you, Subaru and Mazda for... You made it, you made, you made it pretty clean. I'm proud of you. Sandwich job of the century. That was a little hectic. Wow, what a day. That was pretty non-stop. Yeah, that was sick. It, it never, didn't even get windy when we were leaving. I, I almost felt like I should have stayed. Andre <laughs> would have been bombed. Yeah, we I'm ran out of batteries and everything, huh? I'm pretty hungry, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely hungry too. The good news is that the bear flag we're going to is actually closer, if you're down for that. Yeah, yeah I'm down. Yeah, okay. Um, you're gonna need your parking ferry for that one, I think, but uh, yeah, we can, yeah. Gonna... well, hopefully the parking gods are looking out for us. But yeah, we had a pretty incredible session down there at, uh, at the old Dirty Wedge this morning. Um, we had Gary come down and join us, which was awesome. He got a couple really sweet ones. He also got a very, he sat, basically sat on his skin board on yeah. the dumbest wave of the morning. It didn't look good at all. No. It was, it was a one foot wave. Like, I don't even know why he went for it. And then sometimes that's just when things go wrong is when you least expect it. I got, I got to film uh, his butt. His butt. <laughs> not my proudest moment. Yeah, that maybe, was... uh, maybe I'm not gonna put my, uh, my name on the edit on this one. <laughs> you sell parts to Gary, you might not, mm. might not ever want to see. Yep. But yeah, we, and then there's just a lot of, very beautiful waves. I had to do a little skim session with Tina. Thankfully, we, she would she, she helped me out and expedited the thing. But oof, <laughs> it was hard to watch the, <laughs> what was being done while I was teaching. That was I didn't expect it to be that good today. I was like, eh, I can I can teach you. teach for a little bit and skim. And today was it was very good, and I was really scratching my head when I was doing that. Yeah, it was pretty clean, huh? Yeah, 
very, very I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very impressed. I would say that this was the cleanest wedge yeah. I've ever seen. For I sure. Mean, in person. Yeah, and green. The water was yeah. actually pretty nice color. Yeah. It was just one of those days. And we're trying to make the most of it because May 1st, black ball starts. And someone reminded me of that today and I got really sad. But basically, we would have had to been out of the water midway through our session. Yeah. We would have had... Almost three, uh, three and a half hours ago. Yeah. And what happens usually is because there's only a time slot in the morning in which people with boards can ride, it condenses everyone to riding in the morning. And it's actually like more dangerous, it's, especially these days. I feel like there's more people surfing and riding boards at wedge than there has ever been. So it's... I don't know. When black ball starts, I, I usually kind of just ride off wedge. I almost just say, eh, probably going to get hurt, so I don't go down there. 